In this video, we are going to learn how you can automatically save tweets to an Excel spreadsheet. So the idea here is that whenever you create a new tweet in your Twitter account, automatically the tweet details should be saved to your Excel spreadsheet as a new row. So here you need to integrate your Twitter account with Microsoft Excel. So here your trigger application would be Twitter and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabbly Connect and how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabbly.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabbly. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabbly Connect. This is the landing page of Pavli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pavli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pavli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as save your tweets to an excel spreadsheet. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabbly Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we create a new tweet in our Twitter account, automatically the tweet details should be saved to our Excel spreadsheet. So first we are going to integrate Twitter account with Pabbly Connect. So just open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Twitter. Select the trigger event as new tweet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Twitter. Now it is asking authorize Pabbly Connect to access your account. Let's click on authorize app to give away the access over here. Authorization successful and now the Twitter account is connected to Pabbly Connect. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to create a new tweet in our Twitter account. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So let's move to the Twitter account. This is my Twitter account and here we are going to create a new tweet. Okay, so let's create a new tweet by clicking on this plus sign. And here I'm just going to enter the tweet data. Pabbly Connect, a software that connects applications and sends data from one app to another. So let's now click on tweet button. Okay, and here we can see that a new tweet is created over here. Now we are going to move back to Pabbly Connect and now let us click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got the created date and time. Okay, that is today's date and time. And when we scroll down here, we can find the full text. That is the tweet that we have created just now. Okay. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that. And please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. And here also it is mentioned that this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes. Okay. Now we want to save this particular tweet details to our Excel spreadsheet. But here you can see that uh, the created date and time is captured all together. I want only the date to be entered in my Excel spreadsheet without the time. Okay. And the date should be in DD, MM and YY format. So I'm just going to change this particular date format. For that, come to this action step and here choose the application name as date and time formatter. Choose the action event as format date only. Click on connect. Now here we need to map the date that needs to be formatted. So here we'll be mapping the date that we have got from our trigger response that is created add date. Okay. So let's scroll down and here let us select the same date from the drop down of our trigger response that is created at. Now here we have to select the two format in which format we want the date. So I want the date to be in DD, MM and YY format. So I'm selecting the same format over here. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and we can see that the response is received. And here in the response, we have got the result in DD, MM and YY format. Okay, now we want this data, the tweet data to be entered into our Excel spreadsheet. So click on this plus sign add action step. 
and now we are going to integrate our excel spreadsheet with pably connect so here we have to choose the application name as microsoft excel select the action event as add row to worksheet click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with microsoft excel now it is asking let this app access your info so let's scroll down and give away the access over here by clicking on yes button authorization successful and now the microsoft excel account is connected to pably connect just because i was already logged into my microsoft excel account so make sure before creating a connection you are logged in now as we have created a connection here we can find all the workbooks that i have created in my microsoft excel account okay so i'll just show you the workbook which i have already created to save my twitter data and here you can see that the workbook name is tweet data okay and the sheet name is sheet 1 when i am collecting the date as well as the tweet details so i am going to select the same uh, uh, spreadsheet name over here in pably connect also a uh, spreadsheet or the workbook that is tweet data so let us find the same now here we have to select the worksheet so as i have created a single sheet in this particular spreadsheet the sheet name is automatically captured as sheet 1 if you have created multiple sheets from the drop down you have to select your specific worksheet name over here okay now it is asking for the date and the tweet data to be entered over here in the columns so we will be mapping the data date we will be mapping from date and time formatter and tweet data we will be mapping it from the twitter response over here the trigger response okay so let's uh, scroll down and here let us map the date from date and time formatter and here we have to map the tweet from twitter that was full text and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means the tweet data is added to our excel spreadsheet let's check it okay and here we can find the date as 26th of august 2022 and here we can find the same tweet a uh, public connect a software that connects applications and sends data from one app to another so in this way we have set up the automation and our integration is working fine let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data saved successfully now as this is a one time process we have set up the automation next time whenever you are going to create a new tweet in a twitter account all your tweet details will be saved in your excel spreadsheet so now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not so i'll just move to my twitter account once again and here i'm just going to create a new tweet and let's enter some details over here pably email marketing sends marketing and promotional emails to subscribers easily So I have entered the data. Now let's click on tweet. So here we can see that a new tweet is created. Now let us check whether the same tweet details is added to our Excel spreadsheet or not. We have to just refresh our Excel spreadsheet. And even after refreshing, we can't find the tweet data saved over here just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So we have to wait for some time. Okay, and here we can see that within three to four minutes, the tweet data is captured over here. The date is same, and here we can find the tweet as Pably email marketing send marketing and promotional emails to subscribers easily. And in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pably Connect, and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first, we have created an integration between Twitter and Pably Connect so that whenever we create a new tweet in our Twitter account. automatically the tweet details are captured in pably connect then we have applied a date and time format over here just because we want only the date uh, to be entered into our excel spreadsheet and the date should be in dd mm and yy format only and then we, using all these tweet details we have entered the same details into our microsoft excel spreadsheet and in this way we have learned that how we can integrate twitter account with microsoft excel using pably connect thank you So not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pably Connect. In case of any queries you can visit our Pably forum to check the pricing details of Pably Connect you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pably Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video please comment share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.